Hi, I'm Seth Rogen. And I'm Evan Goldberg. And this is day one of the series Future Man. It's a sci-fi action comedy. Welcome to the resistance. I beat the biotic wars and it turns out that game was actually a simulator sent back from the future to find humanity's savior, which is me. So that's it. All the fate of humanity depends upon this moment right here and now. Sure. You know, your standard half hour comedy. <laughs> the idea was to take the big budget kind of action movie vibe and do it on a serialized type show. And Court Fay, our cinematographer, has captured that. We're shooting it in a style that is trying to move itself away from television. You know, most TVs are obviously 16 by 9. We're shooting anamorphic, so it's the widescreen ratio. It's unlike anything on TV. Well, that's what I call a hole in one. The inspiration for the look of the show comes from a lot of the sci-fi and action movies from the 80s and 90s. We want to use cinematic language that reminds people of their favorite things from those movies. When you watch Terminator 2, you see sparks, rain, and spinning yellow lights. We used an older set of anamorphic lenses from Panavision to achieve that anamorphic character from the 80s and 90s. You get the blue flares and the oval out-of-focus highlights. We try to achieve that level of visual jazz. Sounds pretty heavy. More in pain, more out of breath. Ready and action. I think the trick to creating this kind of scope is a lot of big, really interesting sets. What Jess is delivering for us to shoot on is just fantastic. This is the command center for the resistance. There's no one shorter than us allowed down here. <laughs> it's a production design dream. I get to play around with the 60s and the 80s and the present day, an alternate timeline on the present day and the future. It's not something in TV you get to do often. These sets are incredible. I've never been in this one. This is a yoga studio, apparently. And the other thing you don't see on typical half hours is my sets have a lot more integrated lighting. And so Court and I will plan out, how is it going to look the most incredible? Like I said, look, I'm doing this graffiti thing. And he was like, what if it does something in black light? And I was like, that's amazing. Most of our action sequences, we're using a lot of physical effects. That burning barrel back there is real, and it's helping us light the background. They're trying to breach. Nice. Between their genius and then people like Seth and Evan, it's creating this very unique, massive world and making it uh, quite... Best park I've ever eaten. R-rated comedy. That's so fucked up! It's just cool to do it from a way that's not so standard, and there's nothing standard about any of this. And I can't wait to see what it looks like when it's all put together. What's your plan? It's Time Travel 101, you need to blend in. We need another plan.